life so much easier. I know. We just Pretty have good. the perfect amount of snow. What's that? We have the perfect amount of snow. Yeah. <laughs> Our route appears to be barred. That's a big one. Oh, I'll take forever to cut through. There's no way I can move this. No. Well, we should be able to go through here. Oh, usually I just take the handsaw and do it, but we had too much to do. Come back to it later. Hope this load doesn't turn over. So far. Oh, you hit that stump. Power through. I don't want to get <laughs> there you go. Well, hopefully we don't have to go through more of those. <laughs> <laughs> that was a lot of oh, sun. your phone fell. Oh shit. Maybe maybe I knocked it over when I put the branches. Maybe. Everybody okay? <laughs> Everybody okay in there? Wait a sec. We'll do some readjustments here. <sighs> okay. Alright, you might have missed that. I don't know. Hi. I was almost through. I just needed somebody strong to come and knock it out and Mike showed up in time and he did that for me. So, um, thank you so much for being with us folks. Weird intro I know and it, it's not what it looks like. I know it looks like I abandoned Sandra to <laughs> this big tough job, uh, but I had to go get a second sled load. Uh, why? Well, if you probably noticed in the beginning, it was full of uh, some firewood there. And uh, another question while you're probably asking, why are you bringing firewood? Well, uh, let's show you 
what we did last week and why we didn't have a video of it. We got to load all of this stuff, bring it way down over there. That's where we're going to keep, that's where we keep our firewood for the house. And how we're going to bring it over, that little tractor and Sandra. So, we've got all our chores done last weekend, so this weekend we can come out camping. We brought a stove, we brought our sleeping bags, there's a little bit of snow on the ground. Thanks a lot for joining us folks on our first night in the new revamp shelter. It's going to be a lot of fun. Okay, the regular viewers, you guys recognize the shelter. New viewers, again, it's a shelter. <laughs> uh, not quite as finished as we would have liked, but pretty good. We're pretty happy with the amount of work we've been able to do with the time we had available to us. So, we got the wood stove there. And I'm gonna put that in, so we're gonna be nice and toasty fairly soon. But there is one glaring thing that appears to be missing, but I think Santa has a solution for us. I do. <laughs> A door! <laughs> <laughs> so there we go. This has been traumatizing me for the past two months trying to figure out how to do this to make it airtight. It's going to be a bit cheaty. Some purists out there probably won't be happy. I apologize. Uh, but um, we want to make it so that it is removable so that we can bring it back in the summer uh, so it doesn't uh, burn off and, uh, and rot away. And also we want to make it so it's easy to go inside and out and also keep it airtight when we're inside so I think this uh, is gonna work up pretty good for us we're not sure we've never done it we're gonna give it a try yeah <laughs> all right so this uh, tarp came with uh, some grommets uh, but we wanted to make this as airtight as we could and if we put it up like that we're, we're planning to wrap uh, cordage around the beam to hold the tarp up and with them being so far apart it may bend a bit and allow some air gaps in. So, we did some work, and we added a whole bunch more. We added two to every one. So, we'll show you how we did that. Okay, so in terms of uh, wrapping up the uh, loops of the tarp to the frame, uh, we could have used some paracord and that's what we thought about originally, but Sandra mentioned that we had quite a few of these at home. They're a bungee with a knob at the end. If you can see that. So I think this is gonna work out really good for us. Again, sorry that it's not pure bushcraft, but this is going to be a lot better for us in terms of ease of use and we're going to be able to put it fairly tight on that and easily removable whenever we need to uh, take the tarp down.
Hey Mike, what are you doing? All right, so we need to get this uh, bungee, it's gonna bring you there, uh, around this pole. And luckily so far, everything has been lining up where a couple of uh, beams reach. So this one, there's a lot of room. So it's quite easy for me to just shove the, the cord there. But some of these, they were going through the, these moss chunks. So I have this little stick. I don't know if that catches it, but it's caught in a V. And basically I can just kind of pull, pull some tension on like so, and then just feed it through. And that's what I've been doing. There's no way I could have done it without it for the other one. So, so the, the ball locks into the back. And I just pull that through and lock it in. I'm going to adjust tension as we need it. This one's a little bit loose, so I'll adjust the tension later on. But uh, yeah, this seems to be working okay. All right, so uh, while we're camping here, if we're going in and out of the, uh, the shelter, it's going to be really cumbersome to try to take them all out as we're trying to go in and out. But I'm, all, I'm setting them up now for when we really want to anchor it airtight, we can, uh, away from the, the wind. And uh, I need to put them all in because I need to feed the cords through. <laughs> so, almost done. And uh, hands are starting to freeze. Might take a little break and come back to it. Uh, pretty soon, I'm looking forward to getting that done because Sandra's got work to do on a window. And we still have to attach the other side. Then we got to start a fire and get warm. Maybe we'll start the fire earlier. <laughs> <sighs> It's pretty old and rotten, but it's dry. <laughs> Splinters quite a bit. This is some of the hardwood I brought from home, but it's it's fairly fresh. We just unloaded it uh, not too long ago, so it's not the driest, but it should split a lot better. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, I haven't had my nose runny in forever. <laughs> Since last cold. winter? Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> it's gonna be nice if everything goes according to plan. Things should warm up fairly quickly. Be are open or open.
got the stove going because we were both freezing. Uh, I just got a couple more of those loops to put in. Uh, I'm going to change the orientation of where that ball is for the bottom one so that we can get access to the shelter to get in when we're outside. And uh, Sandra's going to be working on the, the window at the top. Right now, I think she's sitting on the stove warming up. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm getting better. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's warm? At least my hands can work again. Good. Good. <laughs> Five minutes of work, 15 minutes of warming up the fingers. Five <laughs> minutes of work, 15 minutes of warming up the fingers. Because you can't work with gloves, you just can't. Yeah, it's no. not the same. But how nice is it to have that stove? Oh, it's a lifesaver today. <laughs> Chickening out, folks. Mm. All right, come on in, guys. What we got so far? All right, so this side, uh, this is not done. This is the side that opens and closes. So this side, we were hoping to have something that we could do grommets like we did on the other one. Uh, so that the whole tarp could be removable. We're still going to do that, but it's only going to happen probably next year. Uh, we couldn't put the grommets until we knew exactly, it had to be really precise, exactly where the anchor point is going to be on this side. So for this year, because we want to leave this door here for now, we're just going to staple it. Uh, we're going to try to make it look nice, but the staples are going to be removable. So next year, uh, we can just add some new grommets and make the whole thing fit really nice. But... I don't know if anybody remembers what the front of this shelter looked like last it winter. It started out with a shower curtain over here, <laughs> and then we had a vestibule. <laughs> and plastic, and it was just ugly. I'm quite happy right now. Yeah. Gives us more room. Wow, this, I mean, it's gorgeous. Too bad for the bright light. You can see all the but... icicles hanging on the wall. <laughs> yeah. And once we have this nice and taut, no air gaps. Yeah, we're not. There's still that we're gonna fix, but yeah, uh, we're not. I'm not done with the window. No. I still have to do this yeah. side. I just needed a break. Yeah. All right. We'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. We want to warm up next to the stove, have a little snack. Uh, awesome.
So this is the latrine that Simon and Brandon had built for us last winter. Um, I brought a little extra piece of foam today and I stapled it on the log. So now when you go to the washroom, it's nice, uh, comfortable and warm. It's not like a nice up log like it used to be. What do you think, Sandra? Looks good from in here. <laughs> It's pumping some heat, major heat. It's doing its job. Yeah. You need some more light or? No, I think we're good. That's frozen hard. I can't break it. <laughs> We're gonna have to just put it in hot water and... Oh, there you go. I guess it was that cold. Okay. Hope you're hungry. I'm famished. I hope you're hungry. Yep, I'm hungry. I put in a window today, I put in some lights. Yep. Help with the door. Yep. Oh, there goes my fork. I'm gonna cut this here, I think. I like my grilled cheese cut. <laughs> How about you? I'm not fussy. No? No. Ah, I almost lost it. Yep. 
That'll do. Thank you, Sandra. You're welcome. Oh, that's a big bowl of <laughs> soup. Mmm. That's good. And it's eating temperature. Mmm. I was really hungry. Mm. Should keep us filled till morning. Mm -hmm. mm. That's really, really good. Well, uh, it's working. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we are so happy. The doorway has totally worked out. Uh, moth seems to be doing its job. Uh, I'm down to my last layer. Uh, so it took longer to heat and then the tent would and uh, it's kind of something we forgot about last year this shelter is fantastic it's a lot of fun but it takes a few hours for it to get to temperature yeah because uh, you're basically walking into a freezer right <laughs> everything's frozen the, the whole works of it is frozen the ground is frozen so it takes a really long yeah. time to bring the temperatures up you gotta warm up the beams yeah, and... yeah. yeah. but uh, it's it's a lot of fun to use and having that uh, front fixed um, it's weird. It hasn't added any physical space, but it feels bigger to us because it's nice and clean, and we want to use that section. Mm -hmm. So, so, so happy with it. Right now, everything's super comfortable. We ate great. Yep. Having fun. Cool. We could have snow in the morning. Yep. They're calling for a snowstorm tomorrow, yeah. so we'll see what that brings. Yeah. So, uh, thank you so much, everyone, for uh, being with us throughout this whole. Uh, uh, renovation I guess you could call it for this one <laughs> so uh, we're, we really like how it all came together how the whole thing looks and feels I mean so far it's working out pretty good I think it's around minus 7 minus 10 degrees Celsius I'll put the Fahrenheit tag as I usually do and uh, just give you guys an idea and in here we are uh, over 20 degrees Celsius which is I think around 80 Fahrenheit so pretty comfortable yeah yeah it's yeah. not 80 it's 70 70, sorry. All right. <laughs> sorry. You'd think I'd know the differences by now. But there you go. But uh, yeah, everything's been fun. Everything's been great. And uh, probably going to shut the filming down there for now. Oh, yeah, one quick mention. Uh, we have our bedding all set up here. And a cake style like we do just to give ourselves more room. We decided to try out these cots. We had gotten them for uh, other trips. Uh, and uh, Sandra wanted to try it out in here, not to sleep on the ground. So, hey. We would, they just fit. Yeah. <laughs> they just squeeze in. It's like we built it with the intention of using these someday. Yeah. But no, it's uh, we're gonna try these out tonight, and uh, pretty much it for filming for now. Mhm. Mm so thank you again so much, folks. Really appreciate it. We'll see you in the morning. Hopefully, we'll have a bit of a snow show for you. <laughs> Well, I know we said uh, goodnight already, but uh, we've been having so much fun. <laughs> Shelter's working out amazing. Mm. The the whole wall and the door, it looks gorgeous. And these little cots are actually fairly comfortable. Yeah, they are. Yeah, <laughs> not too bad. Nice to be off the ground. Yeah, it is, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, just uh, figured we'd turn the camera on one more time, and I uh, want to say, uh, again, thanks so much for watching. Um, I'm going to fill up the stove before I go to bed, and... Uh, if I do wake up in the middle of the night, which I tend to, I'll, I'll, I'll do my best to keep the fire going. If not, we'll just start another fire in the morning. Try, try to get up. And <laughs> get, I'll nudge you. All right. <laughs> Thanks. So, uh, again, thank you so much, everyone. Uh, that's going to be it for tonight, and we'll see you all in the morning. Hopefully with snow. Good night. Good, good night.
Well, the A-frame 2.0 worked out really good. The door was fantastic. It sealed all the heat in. Uh, we managed to keep the fire going all night, which is great. So it made it really easy to get up and get dressed this morning. Although we were so comfortable, we didn't want to get up. So, um, Fenner's already got her bedding put away. I still got a couple of pieces. What did you think of uh, the A-frame? Worked out really well. Yeah, super impressed. Took a lot of time to get the heat in there, but yeah. once it was hot, it worked really, really good. Yeah, once we were able to get the, the frost out of it, it, uh, it kept its warmth for the whole night. Window's doing its job. So yeah. warm in there, the snow's melting when it's hitting <laughs> it, so. So we have a fine snow falling this morning. It was a little bit heavier earlier, but uh, I think it cleared up a little bit, but I think it's gonna be off and on all day, so. We're gonna take care of some breakfast and uh, have a cup of coffee, and we'll probably pack up. Is there room for two? Yeah. Is there room for two? A lot of people ask us why we do winter camping. This is one of these moments. It's absolutely gorgeous. Amazing. Fantastic.
Not perfect, but pretty darn good, I think. We're back winter camping. <laughs> yeah, winter camping has a season has officially started. Oh my god. Thank you so much for being us uh, with uh, for this video everyone. Um, I'm over the moon. This uh, shelter has worked out great. It worked out great last year, but now it's been improved. What do you think, Sander? Yeah, no, it's worked out really good last night, so yeah. uh, the the aesthetics of it. I, I the, the one regret I had last year was I I always hated the front and now it's arguably the, the nicest feature of it except for that thing but yeah. what can you do so i hope you guys enjoyed it worked out great for us we got a lot of plans for this winter i really hope you guys stick around and in a few weeks uh we're gonna be coming back to visit this guy and uh hope you guys join us for that one too thank you so much everyone and take care bye bye Good job! Thank you! Do you want your full of snow before you get in? <laughs>